Well, it's time to find out whether or not that nightmare means that Latyonin's been obliterated. I don't like it here. All this hocus pocus is bad news. Us dwarves know that and keep well away, just as Vrakus commanded. I hope you know that too. I cannot perform magic, and I've never attempted to. Nevertheless, please show respect. Remember that it was Lot Yonan who took me in and saved me. Now then, it would seem that the tongue of the learned one becomes somewhat haughtier, and his sentences doth wind most strangely as we verily approach the vaults. You can't help but grin guiltily. With a beseeching glance at the twins, you step into the area in front of the vaults. Seeing no one there you might greet, you and your companions enter your old home through the open gate. Who the hell built this tunnel? Bowendal examines the crumbling roof with a mixture of disbelief and indignation. Be quiet. I want to surprise them. Is that such a good idea? Why if we give your master such a shock that he casts a spell on us? I don't want to be turned into a mouse or, or a bar of soap. It is unusually quiet in the vaults, but the smell of dinner is in the air. You imagine Frala looking up at you from her cooking pot in the kitchen and smiling. Ah, there's boiled and roasted meat for dinner. Come on. That's no reason to go and get ourselves turned into something weird. We'll stay here until you're finished with your little game. They like to stay behind a lot, don't they? It's kind of a disappointment just because they their writing is enjoyable. I like having them around, and that kind of a bummer that they keep uh, removing themselves from conversations. Are there people here or not? Is this place attacked? There are no signs of humans anywhere. Uh-oh. Yeah, what if that dream was correct? What if we... What if that was... What if he really did wipe the whole place out? That'd be bad. Ikana isn't in her cradle. Where could Frala have taken her? Even the baby's gone. Lumps of meat rise up and appear on the brown, bubbling surface of the soup before sinking back down out of sight. The hearty smell makes your mouth water. A human foot? Your stomach turns, and you have to fight hard against the impulse to run out of the kitchen screaming. Oh, uh, they killed everyone and baked them into the stew. That's brutal. But fitting with what we saw earlier, they're brutal. Uh, I should really not go alone after I've seen the foot. You look around the workshop with growing panic. No one to be seen. Yeah, guys, I'm not going further. I mean, it's gonna make- it's probably gonna make me go further on my own, but... Surely I can report the weird stuff to them and have them come with me. Only longhorns will build like this. They've cut through the strata with no concern for the veins. That's obvious. Even to a warrior like me. Ah, oh, the warmth has dried out the strata and made them all crumbly. Even the wooden beams won't hold the roof up for much longer. Tungdo, have you found your Magus yet? You don't want to bother them with your gruesome find until you know what's happened here. Either way, there's no harm in having two strong warriors guard the gate. No, not yet. I'll keep looking. No, that's stupid. Share your gruesome find. It's messed up. Although the geology nerd in me is amused by the fact that the uh, the dwarves are talking about rock st uh, rock formation st stratigraphy. <laughs> what happened here? Speak. Ah, uh, another one. <laughs> Don't even think of using magic, or I'll lodge this pretty piece of steel in your brain. It takes the Famulus a few seconds to comprehend the situation he suddenly found himself in. He seems to weigh up his options for a moment before he breathes out and the tension leaves his body. 
Alright, alright, I won't use magic. That was a hell of a head bash, huh? But it was fitting, because after what was happening with me. Yeah, all the more reason why I should have not gone all alone, huh? Lot Yonan, where is he? Nodon killed him. He killed all of them in Parista. There's no one left in Girdleguard who can take on the last Magus. You're saying that someone took on all six of the Magi at once and defeated them? Ridiculous. Five Magi. My master Nudin is Nodon the Doublefold, the Lord of the Perished Land and soon to be Lord of Girdleguard. He killed the Masters and the Apprentices followed soon after. They're all gone, and he changed the magic field so that only we can use them. An icy hand grabs your heart. It's impossible that there's only a single Magus left and he's not fighting against, but for the Perished Land. I'm rather perturbed by the concept. They seem to establish the idea that they ch that somebody could just, like, you know, change the password to magic. What happened here? Where is everyone? For a while, the Famulus seems to be playing with the idea of being stubborn. Boendal pushes a little harder on the end of the crow's beak, and the tip penetrates the skin. Blood seeps out. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, they're... Oh, they're... They're... Gone! Dead! A school full of magi destroyed without any signs of struggle? Lies! The facts seem stacked against it, but you cling on to this faint hope. Lot Yonan's Famuli were already in Parista. There were only novices left. We made easy work of them. The Elphar, Syntheras, he insisted on being part of the raid after he found out that you grew up here. He opened the gates and killed most of those here before they even knew what was happening. In your mind's eye, you see a pale face appearing from the darkness. You saw what Elphar are capable of in Greenglade. You push the thought to the back of your mind and try to keep a clear head. So they're either in the stew, or they're not here because they're all part of the zombie horde now. Why are you snooping around in Lot Yonan's study? What are you looking for? I'm looking for artifacts that Lot Yonan, when he was in Parista, claimed he had forgotten and left in a cupboard. And for the books that were stolen from Greenglade. I'm guessing you're the dwarves that stole the books. What does your master want with the artifacts and the books? I don't know. He commands, we obey. He... <laughs> he's going to be very displeased. I did find a bag in the cupboard, but it didn't contain the right objects. I've had enough of your lies. They're alive. Lot Yonan escaped and has gathered his apprentices, Frala, and the others around him to fight against Nodon. We just have to find them. <laughs> the war was over before you even noticed it had begun. Nodon cannot be stopped. He is on his way here, and will just... Blah, blah. We will leave immediately. This news is of great importance to the Council of Dwarves. I'm not going anywhere. I have to find my friends, and I... Orcs! Lots of them! That nasty little skull crunch. <laughs> well, that's bad. Presumably everyone's dead. I have no reason not to believe them, because... We've seen how powerful they are, and we're in some serious trouble. Tongdil's probably going to blame himself, but he was sent on this mission on his own. It's not like he decided to do any of this stuff, and no one knew had any idea what was coming. Let's try not to die. 30 orcs, huh? Right, sorry. I always try to, uh... I can't help it. I always try to use WASD to look around on the map, and you can't. Yep, here it comes. As a horde. Oh, should we attack the beams to collapse the entrance? Oh, is that where this is going? That's a good idea. Oh, yeah, this, there's a start, huh? Couldn't really clear the gap that time. Alright. Yes. Let's move in there. Maybe I can use these beams to my- Yeah, there we go. Make it a whole lot harder for them to come after us. 
Gotcha. Oh, there's more of them still coming in in every direction. Oh, and he's taking a lot of damage. That's bad. Let's try to get over here. And... smash. There we go. I can try to cut off the attack that's coming after the friend. If I use my relic, more will hopefully come in soon. There we go. Really? So much for my healing. Oh, I, d I forgot to activate my healing. Crap. Alright, well, activate it now. Oh, no, it was active. Oh, it wore, it wore off is the problem. Well, crap. Well, we're well on our way to killing enough orcs. I've already partially collapsed the entrance. I don't know if I have to keep collapsing the whole thing or what. It does kind of seem like the story was establishing the idea that the collapsing the entrance was going to be how we proceed. They really do just cover you. Trying to make this... Wow, he's, he's not going to last at this rate. We're so close to hitting 30 orcs, though, that maybe the scenario will reset once I hit that waypoint. That's, like, my best hope right now. Just trying to spam my abilities as often as I can. There are too many of them. The side door in the workshop. It's our only chance. Oh, bring all three of them to the side entrance or they die. Problematic for one of my characters. Huh? I'll give you a hint which one. Uh Please don't go down. I don't know how to stop him from dying. On my way. Just go charging. And what now? I'm with you. Maybe I can run away for a moment. Give him something of a chance. There we go. Just have him back off a bit. You can activate your talisman to last longer. And then cleave attack a bunch of these guys. It's about the best thing I can do right now. Oops. I need help over here, quickly. And again. What is it? Going for it at least. Oh, I need help over here. There's a, there's a repulsion. You can probably take advantage of that. There we go. Yes, he cleared the gap. Yes, yes. Next, you need to do it. I'm with you. The tank can kind of can kind of keep the door open, hopefully. Or so goes my goal. There we go. Alright guys, you guys get over there. He'll be, he'll be following up in just a moment. There we go, 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 go. That, that was not as smooth as I hoped. Get off of me. Everyone get up here. There we go. There we go, we made it work. It was close. I think collapsing the beam seemed to help because it, it uh, sort of choked the... It, bo it bottlenecked the orcs for a while. Not too bad. Oh, and we get to make a decision for one of our companions for the first time. I give him cleave or charge. I really like cleave as an AoE ability, so I'm going to grab that. We got 30 provisions somehow. I'm not really sure where those came from. Protection potion and a pearl. Yep, so the the vision, as expected, was totally true, and all of his loved ones have been made to suffer. Damn. The first twenty are mine! You have come far, but this is far enough. Give me the artifacts and the books you stole in Greenglade, and I'll set you free. What? The guy with the bug guy and the turkey neck and the weird warts and blobs all over his body? He's a villain? What a surprise that no one saw coming. What have you done to the other magi? Your Famulus told us some cock and bull story about you forcing them and their Famuli to go to Parista and then murdering them. 
I did what had to be done to protect Girdleguard. I wish there had been another way, but they would never have understood. Do your eyes deceive you, or do you really see a brief moment of real regret on the swollen face of the Magus? They never would have understood. That sure makes it sound like he never even tried to tell them in the first place. Not a lot of, uh... Not a lot of, uh... I can't even think of the right word right here. <laughs> it's kind of hard to empathize with his stance here. You wanting my rucksack is enough reason for me not to give it to you. I don't need your consent. Look after the rucksack. If you lose it, you will also lose your life. Go back to your realm, dwarves, and let your king know that I need his land. Either he hands it over without a drop of blood being spilt, or my troops and allies take it by force. You can take this one with you. I have no use for him. <laughs> Invisible wizard, Maya. Look. Let me handle her. Kill the dwarves. Handle her? Who is her? They said you can take this one with you. I have no use for. Who are you talking about? I didn't see them look at somebody. I'm not sure who they're referring to, but hey, two characters have cleave. The rucksack! The artifacts! If he wants them so badly, they might be the key to his destruction. There's the orc with the rucksack! Let's get him! A lot of stuff happened there. Kill the sack bearer and recover the rucksack. Is he gonna run away or do I just have to beat him in general? Alright, uh... This is a good time for some cleave abilities, I think. So we're kind of surrounded. What is it? Oh wow, that's a big cleave. It's a lot of enemies taking damage in quick succession. Right. Chance. Holy crap. Yes. It's perfect for him to be able to just rage for a while. The kid just rages for a while. So is he running away at all? He's just sitting there. Okay. I can make this work. Wee! Oh. He's gonna run away behind a series of enemies. That's bad for us. But I can do this. That was not as effective as I hoped. What is it? What is it? Let's see. Uh-huh. Not a bad time to trigger a few abilities. Huh? Damage time. Yes. Alright. Just keep raging. It's clearly working right now. Running away, he's gonna keep running away, isn't he? As, as we as we destroy each group. Huh? Of course. Huh? I'm only endangering myself by trying to fight through, through all of them. I'm sure. Huh? On my way. Oh my God! They do not want us through. Okay, I see. Here comes an AOE. <laughs> it's so, it's such a big yes. attack. All right, here we go. Huh? That's my chance. Oh, I can't control him anymore. I'm just gonna have to live with that. I can keep cleaving. God, that that, lo that giant cleave is so fun. Boom. Boom. Oh, I hit my own teammate there, didn't I? Yeah, it's not ideal. Where's the rucksack guy? Right over there. Oops. Let's try to reach that guy. We can hit him a few times. Oh, God damn it! He's obnoxious. Oh. Well, that's not good. Wow. That got messy really fast, didn't it? So I'm thinking, have the entire party swarm the Rucksack guy constantly. Because uh, that was so many enemies that I don't think we're going to be able to survive. <laughs> 
so the, the rucksack. There's vile creature. Get him. Just everyone go get him. He's got to stop moving eventually, right? What a waste of time. Who is saying what a waste of time? There's like there's some. I feel like there's some female character I'm supposed to be aware of the existence of that I'm not aware of the existence of. Because there's like multiple references to their existence. Is that them up there? Seems like there's like some lady up there. Where'd she come from? That seemed like it was inelegantly set up somehow. Wow, you're re you're really fast, aren't you? Wow, you are really fast. Maybe you two should just kind of do what you want. You're trying. Oh, Bowen Dill's lost control. I was, I was hoping to, uh, eh, maybe I can do it with you. I figured, oh, he's he's that fast. I can just go get the rucksack just fine. I've got the rucksack. Let's get out of here. Over the bridge. There we go. One character is significantly better at chasing that uh, that than the other characters. I just clicked out of the game. <laughs> is that the neutral character over there? Where are they? Weird. I don't know. Uh, huh? There you are. Okay. Everyone, everyone group up. We need to get across the bridge. There. Go. Wait, who's this lady? Let, let's try to, Can we help her? Uh, maybe she'll catch up on her own. I don't think we can really just obliterate all these characters at once. Who are, who are we still missing? Oh, we're fine. There we go. Oh, now we just need to get rid of the, the enemies. That should be easy at this point. Yes. Yeah, that's some heavy hitters. You're, you're, he's in rage mode. Well, now we're definitely going to succeed. Gotcha. Let's get out of here. Retreat? We should fight on! We would die! Perhaps you've noticed that Nordon has risen again, headless. He is more powerful than the Perish Land itself, but the key to his destruction is in here. We will return to the Secondlings and tell them what the Magus is up to. We'll be safe at Ogre's death, and there we can hatch a plan. If we manage to get there, Nordon will do anything to stop us. Then let him try! Not a lot of reprieve in this game, is there? Every corner we turn, there's more just disaster and sadness, and everyone's dying, and nothing goes well, and every every friendly face we meet also starts dying, and so on. Oink oink. So you can't pick it; it just happens. You just get this. Oink oink. Boendil regains a bit of health and attracts the attention of his enemies. Okay, so he, he he gains aggro, which is good because he has he can go into a crazy flurry whenever people are around him, and he gains health, which is good for him not dying at the rate he likes to die at. Got ten more provisions, which is not bad because we haven't even had to move on the map yet since the last provisions, and a uh, decent chunk of gold. But we lost a friend, well, many fr most friends, most characters in the game so far actually are dead. <laughs> No injuries. Did they auto heal their injuries after that fight? Nope. There's definitely some injuries here. With your no injuries notification may be lying to me, game. Bunch of experience, though. There's that. Ah, now we have access to this chunk of map. We need to go all the way down here to Ogre's Death for the current objective. Going through Sangpur, which is a much more a much smaller, more restrictive zone than the than the major area we got to explore up until now. Oh, we can't even go there anymore. So we definitely do any exploration you you. Uh... Oh, look at that! There's a, lot, there's a fire up here at at Son Basur. Maybe that's where the game ends. Oh, the Parish Land. So this is so the barrier must is yeah Alandur I think is where the barrier is, and then the Parish Land is where the zombie people must be. And then up here is, is Son Balsur, which is probably a place where we drop the Ring of Power. Oh wait, that's the wrong, that's the wrong one. Let's just ignore that. 
When do I get a fourth party member? I wonder. Uh, maybe she'll join the party after we walk a little bit because there's just some some lady showing up all of a sudden. Hopefully I didn't have to like click on her to get her correctly or something. But uh, yeah, we definitely want to do any side questing and exploring that we possibly want to do ASAP every time. Otherwise, uh, clearly the zone will get locked off forever. And that's problematic. Diversion of the South is still here. Maybe that orc over there is the next one. Probably. I think so. Not beyond fear. Lot Yonan is dead. The barrier to the parish land destroyed. And a seemingly immortal enemy. You would probably despair if Nodon wasn't so keen on the things that you were supposed to bring to Goren. He fears them. Could they be the key, the key to his destruction? Let's find our way to... Yeah, we'll check out this village over here. Let's see. Calmstead. Have we... We've been there before, haven't we? Maybe there's an update. Ha ha! That was fun! What's next? Boindil looks at you, and the sparkle in his eyes goes out. We are both very sorry about what happened here, Tungdil. You told me. Cynthia said. I convinced myself that... You gulp and turn away from your friends. He just really thought it was a dream. Ha! That's what I call a goodly challenge! Cover me! Not a good idea if you want to go on living, dwarf. You've got quite a big mouth for someone who sounds like a girl! You are Andekai, the Tempestuous, right? Correct. And you are Tungdil, Lot Yonan's charge. Hey! She has a giant mechanical man. That's interesting. Also, that's some really cool looking armor. Honorable Mega, what news of Lot Yonan? Does he live? Andekai looks at you in silence. Pain and rage slowly spreading across her face. He is dead, Tungdil. Along with Myra, Turga, and Sabora. Nod On killed them all and destroyed the Council of Magi. The certainty of their death is painful. It feels as though someone has just torn your insides out. He killed their best pupils, too. And now he's the unchallenged Magus in Girdlegard. It was you, wasn't it, that attacked them with the lightning? Were you any more successful than we were? Andakai shakes her head. He defied everything I threw at him. All of my skills. In vain. I soon realized he was superior to me, but I wanted to buy you some time. Nodon's Famula said that he had changed the magical fields, but you still seem to be able to use them. Andakai smiles. I'm not quite as benevolent as the other Magi. My god Samusin is the god of balance. He loves the darkness as much as the light, which means I can use both. But my powers aren't unlimited. It is difficult for me to store and use this altered magic. We should avoid confrontation as much as possible. Your companion, won't he sit with us and introduce himself? Yes! Hey, you up there! Can you even hear us with that bucket on your head? Jerun is mute, and he won't do you any harm unless I command him to. And as long as you treat him with courtesy, dwarf. Boindil seems to briefly weigh up his chances against the two of them. I decide when I'm courteous. Just don't get in my way. And the orcs are mine! What happened? How could he defeat the Council of Magi? Nudin called us to Parista, under the guise of reinforcing the barrier against the perished land. Instead, he tricked us, took control of most of our powers and attacked us. I cut him down with my sword, but he rose again and impaled me with his staff. All I can remember after that is the sound of fighting, destruction, and cries of death. How did you survive? Jerun. 
Nudin had forgotten he was with me in Parista. He found me, tended to my wounds and brought me out of the city to safety until I could summon up enough power to heal myself. And Lot Yonan? When Jerun carried me away, he was frozen in stone, like a statue. To my knowledge, the spell cannot be reversed. You nod slowly. You don't have the strength to say anything else right now. Okay, so there's hope. It's There's not supposed to be hope. It's supposed to be, oh no, he's doomed. But generally, when somebody's frozen in stone in a, in a storyline with magic, it tends to be something that can be cured, and that becomes a big goal, but a big arduous process. What will you do now? Leave this place. I'm not so foolish as to believe that I could restrain the perished land or nod on. Why should I stay here? Foolish, no! <laughs> But cowardly! You're on your way to the kingdom of the Secondlings, right? Then I will accompany you and leave Girdelgard by the High Pass. We'll need all the help we can get. Nodon will have a lot worse in store for us than just orcs. The Mager nods in agreement. Then she looks pensively at your rucksack. Your rucksack? Why did Nodon want it? I... I was taking some objects to Goren, one of Lot Yonan's family. He was murdered at Greenglade by an elf. There were books lying next to his body which he was planning to send to Turga the Fairfaced. May I see them? You nod. Take the books out of your rucksack and hand them to her. She goes through the letter and the books, one after another, without showing any sign of emotion. Finally, she closes the last of the books. Is that all? They are only sagas and travelogues from the Outer Lands, which tell of legendary creatures and myths. I don't know why they should be of interest to nod on. There must be something in them that's important to him. He destroyed a whole village for them, and... and the vaults. Possibly. I'll study the books. But let's sleep now. Jerun can keep watch. We are still being followed. So is he legitimately a giant or something? Or is he actually some kind of golem? It's actually kind of hard to tell from here. Well, we have multiple orc hordes to go around. I, I'd be lying if I wasn't curious to see how well one could go after the ones that we just left. In addition to the ones ahead. Orcs are bad. <laughs> well, we've got a new place to explore.